it's finally time for you to get off of work. As you make it to your car, you put the key in the ignition and it won't start. You then realize the buildup of corrosion of battery acid. You now know that you need a new battery. You are low on funds, so you proceed to check your preventive maintenance application. The user's name, your username is John Doe, and your password is 54 p.m. Your password? Um, your password is on um, 5 4 p.m. Okay. You on um, tap on the buy sell trade button. You then click on the buy button. You type in you type in battery in the search area. And then, yeah, you see, you hit the new item button, and you select the um, you see, um, ah, excuse me, you select the battery that suits your price range. Tap on the buy button. A screenshot pop up says, um, Thank you. Uh, um, an email will be sent to you shortly. And you press the back button and wait for your ride. That's it. <laughs> it's finally time for you to get off of work. As you make it to your car, you put the key in the ignition and it won't start. You then realize the buildup of corrosion on your battery. You realize that you need a new battery. You are low on funds, so you proceed to check your preventive maintenance application. Your username is John Doe, and your password is 5 4 p.m. Open the app and proceed to register. You log into the application, you tap on the buy, sell, and trade button. You are trying to buy a battery.
cool. Squeaky and clean. And last one, you were not too fond of your 2002 Toyota Camry. Instead of selling to a junkyard, you would like to trade it for a newer used car. You check your preventive maintenance application to see who is willing to buy your car. Okay. Okay. Trade. 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 Now you own trying to see who's willing to buy your car, you're trying to sell it. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. And you notice when you hit the brakes, the brake pedal starts to vibrate. You need to get to an auto repair shop quickly. You check your preventive maintenance application for the best nearby automotive shop. I learned that um, the app is very simple to use. Um, I learned that um, I didn't know I can um, find. I can. I didn't know I can just um, sell or trade a card with an app like this. It's very cool. Um, what are some of your criticisms? Criticisms is that um, typography. When you look for a battery, I didn't see the battery. All I know it's so small. And it's not in black. It's also in gray. So I may, I'll say have the battery, even though it's part of the category, to be a little bigger. Because so people who are trying to rush, trying to get out of here, trying to, oh, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, you know, they don't think not going to see it. You know, it would be easier to make it, uh, make it bigger. Other than that, um, it's pretty good design. Um, yeah, other than that, I, I like the functionalities. Uh, the scrolling, the shop, I thought the scrolling would be a little bit more to keep in mind because it's kind of like off. If I see like it's running off the bottom of the screen, um, I thought it would be scrollable. And also, um... Also, even though I see you got the battery, come back to the battery part, the battery on the um, search engine. I thought it was going to be a search engine to see, uh, to search for the battery. It would be simple, like, search engine, then come to the page where the battery is, so I don't know. So make sure, like, if you're going to do search engine, make it functional, I guess. That's all. Thank you. I went to the repair shop to find a battery, because it might be cheaper. <laughs> all right. About the app? Um, it was, I like the map, the map feature to get you to uh, to the junkyard that's close by. Like it had the little, little pins and stuff, so that was neat. What didn't you like about that? Um, at some points it wasn't like responsive. Like if you, uh, even if you hit like the wrong thing, it wouldn't like respond to it. You had to hit the right, like the absolute right thing, so that was about it. What would be some fixes to the bugs that um, you would recommend? I guess just like the same thing, like the responsiveness to clicking the wrong things. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Well, what about the app? I mean, it's cool. I mean, obviously, it's a, some things that might want to need to be fixed, but for the most part, it's a, it's, I think it's a, it'll be a very useful app. What needs to be fixed in the app? Um, I think probably some things probably to be looked at is the ability to scroll and the part where you look at the map, you probably might want to be able to zoom in if you can't really tell where you're at to be able to get the directions to the places that you need to go. Is there anything else you would like to say about the app? No, it's pretty good. Thank you.